you live. A warm front is lifting northward. That's what's producing this light rain and drizzle in the air, and it's going to be with us through the evening and into part of the overnight. But even as this mass of rain and drizzle pull away, we'll still have some spits of rain and patches of drizzle even into the overnight and perhaps a few even tomorrow. It's a steady light rain, Lafayette, Attica, Crawfordsville, Delphi, as well as Frankfort and Kokomo. Fowler, some light rain and drizzle right now. It's the same thing up towards Rensselaer. Now, the warm front's lifting northeastward, but the actual rain is working east, uh, east northeastward with time. Three systems uh, immediately to watch, and the last one uh, could be the one that produces the most snow out of all of these. We've got two that'll produce snow, one that'll produce rain. Uh, and I tell you what, I think once we get towards Sunday, once we get that bit of snow, that's when the winter pattern will really settle in. We've got a couple of warm days on the way, but boy, once that happens, it's going to stay cold for a while. This is a cold pattern, and we've got several opportunities for snow over about the next two to three weeks. Tonight, we drop into the upper 30s by one, but then we slowly rise. And as a matter of fact, by tomorrow morning, we can be in the low to mid 40s and up to 52 by 11 a.m. And I think late tomorrow into tomorrow evening, be well into the 50s, even pushing 60 in our southern counties, like the 59 at Crawfordsville, 57 Lafayette, 54 Logansport. Still warm Wednesday. These highs will most likely be centered near midday, if not early afternoon. 59 Lafayette, Romney, 60 Crawfordsville, 55 Morocco, and then starting to fall as the cooler air comes in. Now, this is 11 tonight. The main mass of rain starts to pull away, but still spotty drizzle, spotty showers overnight. And you know, tonight, even into tomorrow and tomorrow night, there will be at least some fog around. The ground is cold, and we're putting warm, moist air over the top of it. Produces that warm advection fog. This is 1030 tomorrow morning. Spits of a shower or two, perhaps a little drizzle. Otherwise, it's just a cloudy, breezy, warm day on Tuesday. Now, tomorrow night, the rain increases a little bit and peaks in coverage as the front comes through near midday on Wednesday. Could even be an isolated thunderstorm with that, and then we get that out of here. A little cooler Thursday, but then we track that next system headed our way. This will be the second one out of three, and this could bring uh, snow to the area Thursday night into Friday. Uh, that is an accumulating snow, perhaps about a one to two inch snow from that system with ice just south of here. Now, once we get towards Sunday, the third and final system has the potential to produce the most snow. The new data is suggesting some places may get three inches, but I think one to two will do right now with the two to four just south of here, and then the Arctic air roars in, and it, it hangs on. I mean, we've got highs 20 to 25 through the weekend, but hey, it's 59 Wednesday, 37 Thursday, with perhaps a little mix late in the day. Then there's the snow Friday, it's 30, then falling. There's the really cold weekend and the snow on Sunday, and the 25 on Monday. Get used to just the cold weather. It looks like below normal temperature is kind of hanging on through most of next week. Yeah, some people were complaining about how cold it was today, but we ain't seen oh, nothing yet, yeah. right? <laughs> just wait till Saturday and Sunday. In the parade, you know, 25, that's it. Wind chills around 10 or 15. For sure. Okay, Chad, sure. thanks. Yep. Well, Purdue volleyball tonight in sports. That's